All right, guys, so right in front of us over here, we have the new Land Rover Defender. And uh, Mason, what do you think about the car? Uh, I think it's beautiful. I think Defender have already kept their standards always high. So with the outlook, I approve on how it looks like. It looks more yeah. modern, doesn't it? Not? Yeah, it huh? looks more modern. You still have the rough Defender look. But, but at the same time, yeah. uh, I think it's a little bit more modernized. Yeah, let's just like look yeah. at the let's inside. Let's just walk, huh? walk yeah. around the car. Yeah. You can see they still have the nice vents. Um, I think there is more. I think because of we are coming up in the future, there's more plastic around. But also at the same time, I think we have knocked the car just now. Oh yeah. So I, I, I don't even know if it's aluminium. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I I mean it's still very very sturdy and strong. So that's good for a defender. And actually, I'm actually very excited to see this car. It's just yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm speechless. And you know. they actually kept this, you know. I think it's more of an aesthetic. Uh, it's not yeah. an aesthetic. Actually, is it's it? For, is it functional? Use. It's functional. Yeah. What they do is they actually stand up on the tire and get up. I see. Car, you know, to actually tie things or tie rope, and you have a roof rack. Yeah, so that is to actually step on. So that is the um, the one piece of that car that along the line of heritage. Yeah. That they have installed. Yeah. For this new one, let's go behind. Yeah, let's go behind. Can you open the back? No. <laughs> I don't think we have the key yet. <laughs> no, not yet. Yeah, so we're going to have the us. key soon. I mean, inside there's cool features inside as well. But overall, I think it looks rugged, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. That's uh, rugged. If you can actually see from the back. Okay. Uh, there's there's a, camera. a camera at yeah. the back there. But I want to uh. ask you something. Did you notice something that cars today or trucks or four-wheel drives today don't have and now they have? A big ass tire. Yes. <laughs> it's covered. Yes, it's covered. Last time yeah. it was not, uh, we, last time it was run flat and, this yeah. flat and now we're bringing this back. Yeah, I think this, this is, nice. is really, really nice. This is cool. And then I'm sure this cover itself caused the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the same as the tire. And check out the lights. The light design itself is embossed and it has these cavities here, right? It's, this design is, uh, I don't know, it emphasizes it's more full the LED, light. right? It's, I'm sure it's full uh, LED. Look at it, come closer, come closer, look at it. It's full LED. You see my belt? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. I think it's a sign. So, are we gonna. We're, go gonna, we're gonna drive now, yeah, we're gonna drive yeah. now. Alright, so we still have to sign. It's and sign. let's go. Yeah. Petrol. Oh, there's petrol. Yeah, this start. is petrol. The 300 start very horse easy. and then the 300 horsepower and the 400 Nm top. Oh, ah, this 400 Nm top. Okay. Let's see a prime angle. Oh, I can go. Oh, yeah. The front only. Oh, yeah. The side. Oh, they just only the front. Right. The back corner. Or the back. Ah, this is okay. the camera. And then we have a come with the off road camera as well. The so that's the undercarriage, right? Undercarriage is this one. This one is the undercarriage. But without the undercarriage normally, because we're off-road, we cannot see our wheel arch. Mm. This is where the camera can let you see the wheel arch. I see. Uh, that's the off-road camera. So this is the wheel arch for the front, right? The front, the front only, not the back. Not the back. Uh, not right. the back. Uh, okay. Then this uh, is the undercarriage. Once you go there, only you can see, it's easier to transparency. Alright. Right? This is the cameras and then this car will be... I don't want to put my Now, we are at the lowest point. Okay. okay. Which water weighting maximum is 0 0.7 meter. Okay. Mm. We race up to the normal. Every race about 100. You can feel it. Uh, mm. You can feel it. Yeah, quite fast. Feel, uh. Quite fast. It's 0 0.8. This is the, uh, the, the, media, the, the, the standard. Mm. Right. The highest point will be 0 0.9. 900 ml water meter. What the waiting? Mm. But it's it's good. It's very fast, eh? It's mm, very, very fast. fast. It's very fast actually. And then and suspension. Eh? Yeah, suspension. This is a weight sensor. When you cross the when you open the weight, when we choose right, you see the terrain response that come with seven terrain response. Once it's eco mode, eco, eco mode, normal mode, then this a uh, snow and. and Snow mm. and grass. Right. Snow and grass. And then next one will be mass and rocks. Mass and rocks. Desert. Stone or uh, sand. Sand. Yeah. Then the rock. Mm. The last one will be the wading. Water wading. Water wading. 
Right. Once you press on the water wading mode, water wading mode, actually what you do is the, the air vent will close. I see. You close the air vent and then we raise up until 0 0.9. I see. 0 0.9 height okay. uh, for you to wade in. And then you, when you cross the water, right, there's a life sensing. It will, treat, it will sense how deep is the water now. Okay. okay. Once, it, once it's over about 9, 0 0.9, right, they trigger the alarm body. I see. Uh, they ask you to reverse out. Uh, mm -hmm. Ask you to there's a, in the danger zone. Right? Uh, it's something like this. This car. So basically, oh. it's all electronics. All the gauges. And then we come with all the Apple CarPlay. Okay. The Apple CarPlay, you have to plug in uh, from here. Use cable. Right. Right. And then all the navigation, this, this one normal. Uh. And then the air cons, all this. This one with the air cons. So this one with a uh, uh, soft start button. You can off it. Hill descent. Low range. DSC. You can off it. Okay. Uh, this 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 is a few things for defenders. I would like to know how the diesel feel like. Oh, it's, still, it's still on uh, normal, right? Yeah, it's still on normal. So the diesel doesn't come with the the dynamic mode. Oh, I yeah, see. It Spots, it can be auto spots, right? You, you can shift, alright? Then you can select your gear. Okay, that That's one you have to do it manually or do it can it manually. be. Okay. So now, um, you see a spot mode auto? Or oh, spot so mode auto. Just leave it be, it will go back to auto or spots, right? Oh, yeah. It will go back to spots. So yeah, I decide so to put it back to. Normally, we put it back just, just yeah. put it yeah. initially. But if yeah. I want it to be spots but the auto, so I don't need to manually shift. Ah, yeah, just, manually if shift. I just it leave still, it. It still will, 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 will shift for you. Right. I wish my car was this powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Very comfortable. Okay. I really like the handling. So since you're a defender owner yourself, what is, what's your first thought on this car and its capability, especially off-road sense? Uh, off-road sense, we got to with the technology, right? This car is much more capable than uh, the old one, definitely. Right. Uh, definitely better than the old one. In terms of technology? In terms of technology, like the traction control, it comes with traction control, and yeah. then all the, all the driver aids, yeah. they help out a lot of when we go through, go through the, all the obstacles okay. yeah. it's more like now is that the technology help you the last time the old one you need a lot of techniques mm. to go through obstacle now this car the techniques something like you put a seafood inside your car mm. last time we need to learn from seafood how to drive mm. now right is the seafood already inside the car to help you drive you try the U-turn with this size okay. you see the hand Okay, I go as little, close as as close as possible. You see. Oh, not bad, man. The turning radius, the turning radius, definitely is not bad. Very good, good idea. That one definitely yeah. better. <laughs>
yeah. this car is a what you can say is daily drive yeah it can be used as a daily drive car correct right. and they will get tired the old defender is daily drive also very stuck in because in terms of technology going off road and as you say now you have the sifu in the car mm. rather than you have to learn everything from do sifu. everything yeah from sifu do it manually <laughs> and all, now the car is the sifu because i think coming up right now sifu it won't be there all the time yeah. to help you i think i'm amazed uh, you don't have a lot of blind spots yeah for this car the design the, the window yeah the mirrors you don't really have you see a blind spot yeah very very little blind spot because i was expecting you know a big car you have a lot of blind spots around you but no so far no i can actually judge on everything phone with the c cable mm -hmm. the android play and then the uh, automatically auto play uh, the android play and the uh, apple play mm -hmm. they will come out automatically i see yeah. look at the front oh, so nice this portion is still maintained back as the defenders the old defenders yeah, and the handle especially yeah, these two well. handles yeah. uh, the old it's, defender that have it is that called Nappa leather or just normal leather? this one will be a normal leather mm. only the seat is the Lama leather ah, seats are nice man oh look USB charger Press press down here. USB port at the four. Four USB port. Two here, one here, one there. Nice. That here, sir. Five volt, man. Can charge my whole house. Yeah, uh, five volt. <laughs> Everything I have. <laughs> what is this? That's just a screw. Oh, that's good. Huh? I mean, at the back you have a charger like this. Then you have a C. Is it a C? Type C. Type C, right? So Type it's C. Not, I mean, it, it's for fast charging. Yeah. So this one. I have this handle. Uh, we always call this the oh shit handle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's the oh shit handle. Oh shit. <laughs> it's really nice, really good. And you still have the alpine. Yeah, the alpine. Uh, always have this alpine window. Alpine windows. Beautiful. Open the sun. so we have just done the test drive of the defender so hope you guys like the review and thank you mr lam for actually explaining all the features uh interior exterior and how the car actually works thank you so much right. thank you very much yeah. it was a great car so right now we're gonna go test out the evoke then let's go